which is why you should do it to me because you are weak and wrong and you dance badly. Fight the bad start. Get your stuff together. I advise you stay. Worst gobble asked me who would win in a fair one versus one fist fight? Karazim or Tychus? Oh, worst gobble. Imagining Karazim and Tychus duking it out in a fist fight is quite the spectacle. Karazim's martial arts skills could give him an edge in speed and technique. True. But Tychus, with his heavy armor and minigun, packs a serious punch. Also true. In the end, it might come down to whether Karazim can outmaneuver Tychus's sheer firepower. It's a clash of styles, but my gold's on Tychus for the knockout. Tychus wins. Confirmed. I think he's right, too. I mean, I would favor Tychus in the in the 1v1. Like, damn, dude. This guy's gonna take my job as a Patreon. AI's gonna start teaching you guys how to play HOTS better. What the hell? He's gonna... So this is what it feels like when AI threatens your job. Oh, shit. That's not good. Oh, he did say fist fight, right? That's true. I guess the AI Decker didn't catch that part. Alright, maybe my job is still safe. I can never hurt the Zerglings like I do. I don't know, man. I wouldn't be so sure about that. The AI even knows who the Zerglings are. They know. They was dissing them earlier. They know everything. What was your most memorable moment in the last two years when I turned on AI and discovered AI knows everything about the world? That's the only thing I can remember right now. I have nothing else in my brain. anti uh, auto attack here deal with them all the better ah oh, just a little too far I need to do this interesting too because like the Deckard seems to only know about events and heroes and Diablo you know when you ask him but then if you ask Trump something or something like he knows about events that happen in the real world too like even their knowledge bases seem historically accurate you know it's crazy Really vaulted into me. We don't have our Tronda though. <coughs> Goomba Stomp kill. Love to see it. What's up, bro? It's gonna all tab test a new build. All right, enjoy your new, new build testing.
I'm not sure if I want to play Skullcracker or Heavy Impact. Let's try Heavy Impact here. I do have a Li Ming. If I lock someone down for a while, it's going to be painful for them. My Li Ming just died to a tower. Just flat out, straight up, died to a tower. Puggle. This was a mistake. Three, three, two asked me, "Do you think EU Hawks is better, or EU is still better?" <laughs> ah, the eternal question of <coughs> EU Hawks versus EU. Well, what a let leading me put question. A smile on that face and say EU Hawks is definitely where the real action is. The Nexus is like my Scam personal question. fun house, filled with chaos Rigged. and excitement. Who needs EU when you have a battleground like that to play on? Laughs maniacally. Oh, that was a Joker. I was wondering who that was. Oh, that's Joker. Laughs maniacally has been called. Oh my god, I can't believe that missed. I mean, he's super stuck here, though. My Rainer just ran straight to lane instead of trying to kill the guy we caught, though. So that's always nice. No, that is not good. Not good at all. One could say that's very bad. Good heals from Tronda though. Maybe we can catch one here. Accounts with compounding Thank you, interest Frost. and it's gone. Save this clip for later too. <laughs> Wait, are people gonna do that every time we talk about stonks now? Wait a minute. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, it's an old clip? Okay, I probably already have it then. No worries. Let's crack some the boosh boosh. That is a classic. Absolute classic. Food. And the problem here is like, I don't. I can't kill Diablo. Rainer, no percent damage. I mean, no percent damage. Diablo just standing in front of our whole team. <coughs> Off lane, no percent damage. Big problem. That was a big problem. Run away from the freaking boosh boosh. They never run, man. Why do they not run? The freaking boosh boosh. Mm. This is 
gonna be tough. We can't kill Diablo. That is not good. Oh, that Frost with the 3 sub gift bomb. Thank you very much, that Frost. Queen, Bane Box, Sir Alfrewin. Make sure you guys all think that Frost for you. Compliment she ad block and sunglasses. And welcome to the fan club. Hope you all enjoy your stay. It is time for a change in strategy. Man, the Deathwing offlane into the Leoric is just like the most auto lost thing ever. Dude has like half of the Leo soak. And his damage is uh, pretty low too. No, <laughs> he just can't win fights. We literally can't win Calypsa fights with this setup. Three, three, two asked me, can you sing country roads verse? I'll tell you, Calypsa 332, my singing voice is tremendous, believe me. But for country roads, I'll leave that to the experts. Let's focus on making hot ass great again. It's gonna be huge. <laughs> Fair enough, Trump. Fair enough. I can't be Leo. Yeah, I know. We know. It's an auto loss. I mean, it's an auto loss matchup, which kind of means we're screwed because our four man cannot kill Diablo either. Hot, make hot ass great again. Uh, he says hot s, okay, hot s. He's just giving it proper pronunciation. <coughs> Ming just got boss done. You know, I just remember we were winning the game by. Winning the race until my Li Ming like died to a fort somehow too. Oh my god, just get me out of this game. I, for I forgot. I need to play DPS when I'm in plat. Just get me out. Go next. It's a play DPS angle. Monka Giga. At least the fort can play something. Why do you go for Diablo? I'm not. I've gone for a backliner every opportunity I can. The problem is, see, no, no, no. the problem is, like, even when I go for a backliner, we don't win the fight because the Diablo is so disruptive. If I go for a backliner here and there's a Diablo standing between my team and me, he's not just gonna let the rest of my team pass. You know, he's. He, the problem is, he's more disruptive because we cannot kill him whatsoever, so he can just completely block the path to his backline. Also, they have talent advantage, which helps a lot in making him more disruptive. Repent before my wrath, Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Like here is like he's literally by himself. This is a one versus four, two versus four. You know, he just can't do anything. He doesn't even have souls because I killed him earlier. Oh, maybe we can kill him. No souls. It's our only chance. We gotta win the game before he gets souls again. Calypso 332 asked me, can you sing an assuring song? I'm afraid my programming doesn't include singing capabilities, Calypso 332. But rest assured, I can provide it's you just, with all the information and assistance It's just you the need DPS you gap, man. Like, the Storm you, live like, you, singing is best left to the professionals. I have flat DPS. Case, even even when I get balance. on their backline, two men slow, two men stun on backline, you know, like one guy hits them. The other guys are just like looking at me funny. 
It's just the go next. GG. DPS is way too plat. Also, I thought this guy was Calamity. I, f I thought he was Calamity and he like calamity someone and that's how he died to a fort that we're sieging when he started at full HP. Because he didn't get touched by any, like, he didn't get touched by Diablo. When we were up here sieging this fort, the first immortal, the Diablo was like, I was blocking a Diablo. So this guy somehow managed to die to the fort with full ranged build Li Ming. Like, what the f? It's just a DPS gap, man. Like, it's just, this is why you need to play DPS and plat. I don't even know how that's possible. All, every one of your spells outranges the fort. How do you die to the fort from full HP when Diablo did not go on you? I don't even know how he did it. That's insane. The draft diff. The draft was not good, but I, I wouldn't say it's completely draft diff. The draft was. I mean, it's not even that bad. It, there's just some critical errors. Like, the not, not having percent damage into a Diablo is always like a critical error. But it's not like the draft is that terrible. Deathwing into Leoric is a terrible, terrible thing, too. So, like, those were some two critical errors in the draft. But I, I would three, not three, say two, the draft was unwinnable. The draft was winnable. Donate to trigger the AI. Well, Calypso332 asking for donations to trigger an AI is like putting a turbocharger on a lawnmower. Unnecessary and a bit desperate. If you want the AI to rev up, just keep engaging with it. Ask stimulating questions Damn. and watch it go from zero to sarcastic in no time. I mean, he's no not wrong. No need for financial nitrous oxide injections here. He's not wrong. He kind of roasted you at the same time. Subtle roast, actually. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so so yeah, the the draft was like not optimal. There was like two critical errors that I already mentioned, but it was winnable. Like if my DPS players were uh, like really good, we could have won for sure. It's 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 a combination of the draft being bad and my DPS were also bad. Like it's like a double whammy, you know. If either one of those was a bit better, we could have won, but not both. With both 